It's not the first place you'd expect to find the cloud. So how far underground are we? Yes, yeah, so we're about 125 feet below ground. John Clune is president of Cavern Technologies, a data services company that calls this three million square foot cave in remote Lenexa, Kansas home. With natural disasters such as Hurricane Sandy and the recent tornadoes in Moore, Oklahoma, threatening to wipe out above ground data centers, an increasing number of data services companies are moving their operations underground. Iron Mountain was one of the first. The company has been storing data in a mine in western Pennsylvania since 1998. InfoBunker went subterranean in 2006, housing data inside a former Air Force bunker in central Iowa. Beyond protection from natural disasters, Cavern says the benefits of moving the cloud underground are many. You know, it's really almost physically impossible for someone to put together a more cost-effective solution. We've got the lowest build-out costs, uh, the lowest operating costs, and with the equipment being the same above or below ground, we generally have about a 20-point spread on the market. One of many advantages for Cavern's 70 global clients. Ambient cave temperature of 68 degrees makes cooling servers underground much more cost efficient. Cavern says their operating costs are 30% lower than above ground data centers. The cave's limestone walls are five times stronger than traditional concrete to protect against earthquakes or bombs. And access to individual data suites is controlled with advanced biometric security features. But while burying a server farm deep underground will protect the data from Mother Nature, there is one threat that 100 tons of rock can't do anything about. A hacker with an axe to grind.